Hey, PG, happy Easter. Uh, happy congrats Easter. on the win. Thank you. Um, Rondo played 13 minutes tonight. Uh, first game with you guys. What did you make of his, um, you know, just, just being out there with you guys? What did you make of his first game with you guys? Uh, I mean, it was great. You just see his intangibles. You see, uh, you know, he just sees plays happening. Um, I saw a lot of energy. Um, and, you know, he hasn't played for a while. So, you know, once he just gets rhythm, once he gets his timing down, uh, I, th- I thought it just made the game easier, um, getting it up to him, letting him push the ball, letting him initiate um, instead of a lot of times myself and Kawhi doing it. Um, we got a, a guy that can do it. So um, it's just going to make the game easier for us. I know you just mentioned it, but is that where you anticipate him having his biggest impact is not, not you know, allowing you and Kawhi to finish more plays instead of start more plays? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we can reserve more energy um, and we can play, you know, on the, on the closeout. Um, you know, I related to, you know, the relationship I had with Russ. Russ created a lot of closeout situations for me. Um, and so, uh, you know, it'd be the same thing with Rondo. Rondo, you know, can get to the middle of the paint. He can make plays. And um, a lot of times he's going to create closeout situations for us. Thanks, Peter. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Law. Hey, Paul. Happy Easter to you. Uh, th- another question about Rajan, but about his defense. How is he making an impact uh, on defensively, uh, both when you're on the floor and both when you're just watching uh, the rest of the team? Uh, just energy, energy, effort. Um, again, he could just sniff out plays. His uh, his ice, his basketball IQ is off the chart. So he just sniffs sniffs out plays. Um, I think what's rare is he just knows player tendencies. Um, a lot of players don't know the opponent's tendencies and can lock into them. Um, and so I saw that tonight. Um, you know, and, and of course he played with them, so he know a lot of their personality and, and or he know that personnel. So, um, you know, but he's scrappy. He's a scrappy defender. Was there any specific moment where you noticed him picking something out in today's game? Um, I mean, yeah. I won't say what, but yeah. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Mark Medina. Hey, Paul. Happy Easter. Good to see you. Another Rondo question here. Um, how about on the accountability front? How do you think that he's going to help in that department? How do you think that might compare to, to last year's dynamic? Uh, I mean, he, Rondo's a leader. You know, at the point guard, he's a leader. Um, and so, you know, the more comfortable he, he, he'll get, um, you know, and, and, you know, we, we, we're, we're going to listen to him, you know, we're going to listen to him. Um, I look at him as a leader, a leader of, of this crew, um, you know, and so, you know, he'll, he'll hold a lot of weight. He holds a lot of weight in the locker room. And so, um, like I say, as he gets more comfortable within our system, um, getting games under his feet, um, you know, uh, he'll hold us accountable. Um, and that's what you need. That's what you need in the locker room. Somebody that's going to, you know, say what needs to be said and, um, you know, get us going. Do you think that's something that was lacking last year about, you know, having a guy that can do that? Or how, how did you see that overall? Um, you know, we just know it's coming from a good place. It's coming from personnel that somebody that won and um, someone that's won it multiple times. So, um you know, and, and at, at the point guard, the point guard holds, you know, that leadership by nature. Um, and so we, we know what time it is. It's, it's coming from him. Thanks. Time for one more. Nick Hamilton, go ahead. Hey, Paul. Uh, congrats on the win. Happy Easter to you and your family. Um, wanted to ask you just about how you guys started. You guys started really off really well to begin the game. Uh, how much did the impact of the of the last game as far as you guys having a strong start and controlling the tempo, controlling the pace throughout the game to be able to get this win today? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it was more so, uh, you know, we dealt with injuries to Orlando game. Um, we came out flat uh, the game following that. Um, then we just had two days off, um, you know, rough schedule uh, where we were playing, you know, a lot of games within the week. So um, I think it was more so just us being off. Uh, recharging the batteries, getting a day under our belt to, to to practice, you know, clean up some things. Um, and then today we came out aggressive. We came out, um, you know, refocused and, um, you know, starting one today. But uh, we want to get back on, you know, the streak that we left off on before the two losses. Thanks, Paul. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, guys.